Yo, what up? This is your boy B. Rice. I'm doing a video about track color coding and clip color coding in Pro Tools. Um, basically, I spent about 30 minutes, actually probably an hour now, trying to figure this out. And when I finally got it down, when I finally got it down, um, I thought I'd make a video because I couldn't find one myself that just simply answered the question. Uh, nevertheless, you need to know first off that Pro Tools coloring divisions are divided into tracks as of course over here we have our tracks and then we have clips over here so whenever you're reading through the options you see clip coloring or whatever you know exactly what section it's talking about um, first things first is we're going to work on the track so we want our track our tracks came in just like this session I got here uh, everything came in black and white and I was like what the hell I wanted to change that back to colors because uh, when everything's black and white, it's hard to tell when something's muted and everything looks too much alike. So uh, you go here, you click this drop down menu and you see track color and click it. Whoops, I totally missed that. Click it and it should turn your track, track coloring back. Uh, that same menu is up here in the track, uh, no, in the view, edit, track color. It's the same exact menu. It's just in a different spot here, and then I can change it here. Either or, it doesn't really matter. Whichever one, you know, you know what I'm saying, you can get your rocks off or whatever. Over here in the clip section, <laughs> over here in the clip section, uh, you notice that it did not change my clips. Well, the reason why is because the clip coloring is done in a different section. Over here, if we go to uh, setup preferences, in the default, we have a color coding section right here in the display. Color coding, this whole section right here deals with colors. And we have our default track color coding and our default clip color, color coding. Well, when I got this session, it was on groups. And the reason why there was no colors on the clips out here in the edit field was because there were no groups activated. So I couldn't figure out why in the world, where all my colors at. And I was clicking on everything. Well, you have to change it to the actual default setting, which is not none. It's actually the next one down. It's track and MIDI channels. And it will actually rainbow your uh, your clips your clips back to normal to where they are just in staggered rainbow colors. So you can be able to see, you can identify tracks a hell of a lot faster. I mean, uh, clips a hell of a lot faster. The clips that are on the tracks, not to be confused. But when I did that, I noticed that there was another track that wasn't changing back. So I had changed my tracks back to colors. I brought the colors back here. You know, free the people from the promised land. The colors came back. I got my colors over here. But still, the the clan leader was trying to keep everything black and white on my Pro Tools session. I didn't like that. I wanted all the colors <laughs> on all my sessions. So... I couldn't figure out why this one small section right here was still being taught this racism and I needed to fix it. So we already, sh already showed you how here in this drop down menu is for track colors. And then I showed you how with the clip colors, you have to go to set up preferences and change it to track and mini channel, which is the default. Also another side trick, if you, <laughs> side trick, if you want to change the, to where all the re, uh, the clip regions all match the tracks, just click on track color. And instead of random colors, your, your clips will always match your colors. But I don't like that. I, I want it I want it, uh, straight Noah, straight rainbow, straight promise. Boom, tracks and middies, we got that. But I noticed there was still one section. It was not getting changed. Well, I had to go back over here to the track. Because from the track, you can actually do other levels of manipulation to the clips. So um, I clicked on uh, the region, the clip region that I wanted to change. I went to the typical uh, color platelet that you can double click and it'll pop up. And right here is a drop down menu. And do you notice it says clips in tracks as opposed to just the track? So I click that, clips in tracks and you can actually change it so from here you can actually change the color of the track to whatever color you want but i wanted it to just stay rainbow effect so you just click 
default and it'll put on the next color that was assigned in order or whatever if not you can change it to whatever color you want but of course I want default it did it for that one but if I want to do two then I go here clips and track default and it'll fix them and now I got all my colors back and the world is uh, back in unity again and there is no more segregation in my Pro Tools session uh, this is your boy B Rice you can catch me on Facebook just search uh, Facebook uh, search for Bryce Howard B R Y C E last name Howard. Um, I'll probably put a link or something if you want to add me or whatever. I'm an engineer. I do my thing.